It was a lovely day on the Isle of Sodor. The air was crisp, and there wasn't a cloud in the sky. Thomas, I've given you a much-needed tune-up, my friend, said Sir Topham Hat. Oh, boy, thanks! Now, as soon as I put your brakes back in, you'll be as good as new. Wait, why am I rolling? Am I moving or the tree's moving? What'd you say about my brakes? You took out my what? Holy cow, I can't stop! <sighs> Clearly, this is why I don't have real friends. Screamed Thomas, and indeed, he did not. All right, talk to me. Well, it seems Thomas is out of control and we can't stop him. Why can't I stop him? <laughs> this is Harold the helicopter. How can I help you? Asked Harold. Harold, this is control. I need you to shoot at Thomas and derail him from the track. Shoot at Thomas? Why, I couldn't. Thomas is my friend. Well, your friend is about to crash head first into a nearby town. Ugh, this is why I never work with talking machines. Well, it's like they say, never send a smiley helicopter to do an action star's work. Nobody says that. What's his cargo? Pardon? Thomas, his cargo. What's he carrying? Oh, nothing too dangerous. Pillows, soft cheeses, a nuclear bomb. A nuclear bomb? And soft cheeses? Sheesh, were you even listening? All right, come on. I've got a train to catch. Oh, that's just terrible. <laughs> I got a partner with him? I told you, I work alone. I like you. Look, nobody knows the rails better than Percy. Fine. Just try to keep up, Junior. You're a nice man. Ah, somebody help me! Harold, what are you doing? I'm sorry, Thomas. I have propellers to feed. What's that crazy chopper doing? Doesn't he know if he hits that bomb, we're doomed? I like clouds. Yeah, ain't that the truth. You know, you and I aren't so different after all. <gasps> I see Thomas. Step on it. Thomas, we're coming! Hurry! <gasps> oh, thank goodness! If you hadn't stopped me, I would have crushed... Killer fish from San Diego. Nobody regretted any of their choices. The end.